such but ever since I've been long gone I traded in my senorita for a microphone Before Keisha K.R. became a model and entrepreneur named XXL Magazine's Eye Candy of the Year in 2010 Before standing by Gucci Mane through his recent prison sentence and inspiring him to get healthy and lose so much weight that some now believe he is a clone I'm hearing that Gucci is a clone I would need the support of the Nado's accusations <laughs> Before Keisha K.R. married Gucci Mane in an all-white $1.7 million ceremony in Miami. Gucci. Hello, I'm Keisha K.R. and I'm getting married. Despite being best known as Gucci Mane's wife, Keisha K.R. wanted nothing to do with him prior to their first meeting back in 2010. Originally hailing from Jamaica, Keisha moved to Florida as a teenager, where she became a model, a video vixen, and entrepreneur, making her first million dollars when she was just 26 years old. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Keisha K.R. prior to fame, prior to the big wedding, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now I dropped a bio on Gucci Mane just a couple weeks ago, so definitely check that out. We also have an entire playlist dedicated to models you should definitely watch. Alright, now let's get into this bio. Keisha Dior Watson was born on January 10, 1985 in Jamaica. Little is publicly known about her early days on the island, with some suggesting she grew up in Kingston. Others report she's actually from St. Thomas. And while most sources peg her birthday on January 10, 1985, others like FamousBirthdays.com have suggested she was born on January 6, 1980. Riddle me this, riddle me that. We do know that from a young age, Keisha had a strong desire to become an entertainer, a goal she would eventually achieve. But while she's yet to reveal much about her childhood, there is no shortage of gossip circulating the internet about her past. Websites like Bossip, Gossip on This, and MTO News have reported on rumors stemming from Twitter that prior to moving to the States, Keisha had three kids in Jamaica and left them behind to pursue a career in modeling and music. Again, these are just unconfirmed rumors and very likely not true. After all, how would she have kept this all a secret for so long? And how would she have had that many kids in Jamaica, considering how young she was when she moved to the States? Although that makes it kind of weird that her birthday hasn't been confirmed, but anyway, it's probably not true. Keisha and her family left Jamaica when she was just 17 years old, resettling in Florida. She began her career in beauty and fashion as a stylist, opening up a small salon in Baca Raton, Florida where she did hair and makeup. From there, she would gradually develop a career as a celebrity stylist, but step out into the limelight beginning in 2009. That year, Keisha began taking acting classes, hoping to one day become an entertainer. Then known as Keisha Dior, she landed her first on-screen role in December of 2009 in the music video for Timberland and Drake's Say Something. I hate the way we fell apart, girl, it's sad to see. see your life is good, but me and you, we a catastrophe. She was happy to take the role because the music video's director, Paul Coy Allen was willing to have her play an actual character in the video, rather than just be a pretty girl shaking her butt. She definitely showed strong acting chops with her performance, and fortunately, she also showed a strong amount of cleavage. Keisha would soon grace the covers of several national magazines and pick up roles in other music videos like Young Money's Red Rock in 2009, Young Jeezy's Lose My Mind in 2010, and Yo Gotti's We Can Get It On in 2011. Keisha quickly gained a reputation for adding her own input on all the shoots she does. She was named XXL's Eye Candy of the Year in 2010, and in an interview with the magazine, she stated, Whatever photo shoot I do, I always incorporate myself, because you're shooting me, you picked me for a reason, so let me be me. By this time, she had also gained the confidence to tell the magazine that she is a unique talent, stating, There was not a model to do what I've done. Ever. What I mean by this, I have fans cutting their hair like me, I set trends, and I have girls wanting to be like me, wanting to do what I've done, and especially in such a short time. Sure enough, Keisha decided to cash in on her ability to set trends. In 2010, she launched her first cosmetic line called Secret Kisses by Keisha Dior, and drew up plans to open a high-end boutique on South Beach the following year. Now you gotta imagine the French luxury goods company Christian Dior probably didn't take too kindly to her use of the name Dior. But as Keisha's ventures in the cosmetics game expanded, she formally changed her name to KR and launched the KR Cosmetic Company in 2011. Already known for her distinctive mohawk hairstyle, KR's makeup likewise focused on standing out from the crowd. Her makeup definitely stood out for its vibrant, just about any color you could name style. I mean, there's green, blue, black, yellow, gold, orange, white. 
every color of the rainbow. Originally starting out with just 12 lipsticks, the cosmetic line expanded in 2012 to include numerous new lipsticks, nail polish, lip gloss, eyeshadow, and makeup primer in both edgy and traditional shades. And the company continued to grow with endorsement deals from Trina, Snooki, Tayana Taylor, and she also created a line of pink lipstick called Survivor to raise breast cancer awareness, and all proceeds are donated to the charity Susan G. Komen for the cure. Okay, so needless to say, Keisha's done a lot on her own, but I know you guys wanted to hear about her relationship with Gucci Mane, so let's talk about how they all got started. Well, back in 2010, when she was named XXL's Eye Candy of the Year, Gucci was in Fulton County Jail. He got a copy of the magazine and was pretty impressed with what he saw. Here's a quick reenactment. Gucci called his manager asking to set Keisha up in his next music video. At first, Keisha was reluctant. She had done the one video for Timberland, but generally wanted to avoid being in music videos because she said she didn't want to be around rappers. But after much persistence from Gucci, she eventually agreed to do the video, 911 Emergency. Gucci's team flew her out to Atlanta for the shoot, and they met that day. According to Keisha, he was in love with me on sight. And if you look at the behind the scenes footage, it seems pretty clear that she was right. The two began dating soon after the shoot, but if you've seen the before their famous video on Gucci Mane, you know that things wouldn't always be easy for the relationship. With that being him, you know, going to prison. She talked about these issues in an interview with Fader. Him being locked up over the years was hard at times, especially around birthdays and Valentine's Day and Christmas. But I knew that he was going through more than I was. So I had to be strong for him. Even though I'm a woman, I never broke down. I never cried to him on the phone. Whatever business I was doing, I involved him. I told him my plans, what was going on. We spoke at least five to six times a day. We emailed every day. We had a schedule together, actually. We're not seeing each other, but we know what's going on. I felt like I did the time with him. During Gucci's time in prison, the couple stuck to the same workout and diet routine, encouraging each other to get healthier and lose weight. Well, let's keep it real. The weight loss goal, you know, was probably mainly for Gucci. Another change for Gucci would be his teeth. He told Keisha that he didn't want to have gold in his mouth anymore. She agreed, and upon his release from prison on May 26, 2016, they took them out. Months prior to Gucci's release, Keisha stated that she and Gucci knew he was getting out, but they decided to keep it a secret from the public, the media, even the lawyers. And when the day came, she picked him up incognito. She covered her mohawk with a long weave and brought him a jogging suit, hat, and glasses to disguise himself. They got all the way from Indianapolis to Keisha's house in Atlanta before she took the Snapchat to show the world that Guap was free. Saving these damn prison boxes. Come here, boy. Take that off. Change your clothes. But you got abs? Now she cut on All right. During Gucci's house arrest, he and Keisha kept up the same routine they had in jail. After three years apart, they were spending every minute together. On November 23rd, 2016, Gucci Mane proposed to Keisha during a basketball game between the Atlanta Hawks and the New Orleans Pelicans with a 25 karat diamond ring. The moment was captured on the stadium's kiss cam. Ow. What's going on? What is going on? Of course, Keisha said yes. The wedding was set for October 17, 2017, and Keisha took to social media to announce which network their wedding would be broadcast on. The Wapsters are coming to BET, so get your TV ready because our wedding will be epic, baby. And soon enough, BET would be making an announcement of their own. My wedding will be over the top fabulous. Think of royalty, of love. It will be a diamond-flooded wedding for both of us. Leading up to the wedding, BET would pick up a 10-episode series on the couple. In return, they were paid a reported $650,000, and the network picked up the tab on their million-dollar wedding. Guests of the wedding were sent elaborate invitations, mirror-inspired booklets with Swarovski crystals inside. Each invite cost a whopping $1,000. Swarovski. Did I say that right? Anyway. At the main event, everyone, even the camera crew, wore all white. Guests included 2 Chains, Crew Chitran, Lil Yachty, Big Sean, Trina P. Diddy, and Rick Ross. Keisha wore a jeweled headpiece and bedazzled backless dress. Even the bouquet was icy. The ceremony took place at Miami's Four Seasons Hotel, and all in all, it cost a reported $1.7 million. 
As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCratton. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, you'll probably want to see the one I did on Gua. But also, let me know who's next for a future video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in another video. Video, video, video. Okay, bye.